Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video and in today's video, you see the title, you see the title, we are going to be speaking about MGK and Megan Fox because I just seen her in a recent interview talk about MGK and I just can't believe I haven't talked about this sooner. So if you're interested in all things pretty much pop culture, pop, hip hop, R&B, female rap, conspiracy theories, trending topics, <gasps> anything I feel like discussing, <laughs> then go on ahead and subscribe and let's get into this video. So I'm pretty sure um, MGK and Megan Fox are not even together at this current moment but she did bring him up in an interview on the podcast show call her daddy and it just reminded me of the time and space that we were in where all that we could see and all that we could hear about was mgk and megan fox and it was such a strange time because like first of all i was just like this is such a random couple i never would have thought that they would end up together it just seems like megan fox is megan fox and mgk is mgk like he doesn't seem like he would be with her and she doesn't seem like she would be with him so it was so random also like the significant age gap between them also i think is a thing it's like i think she's a good amount older than him and like he is very young or at least he was at the time so i wouldn't think that she would have any interest in him and he just seems so like boyish and childish and like i don't know he he's his energy to me just didn't seem to match hers but apparently they were like love struck fools for a while okay their relationship at least the parts of it that we did see was like totally cringe and also like weird and twisted like i don't know if you guys remember on the vma's carpet they were like making out and just it's like overly obsessed with each other like to the point that it was cringe like in public it was so weird like their dynamic was so weird and it did not help that the media shoved mgk and megan fox in our faces every time i opened my social media that is all i saw was them and i do understand that mgk was like he was making music at the time he had just like dropped his rock album really good album by the way i don't like mgk at all like personality wise i think he's a dick but <laughs> his album that punk album he did <sighs> please that punk album ate everything about it the music videos the the album itself ate and um she was cameoed in some of the music videos um a lot of the songs apparently he wrote about her so it was just like this moment in time where it was everything mgk and you know megan fox okay which i could tolerate to a degree i guess but when it started getting on to the creepy weird stuff that she was talking about i was like okay miss girl um y'all are gonna get blocked soon because <laughs> you're already about to get blocked from off of my page because i was seeing you too much but even more so now because what are you on i guess to drink each other's blood might mislead people or like people are imagining us with like goblets and we're like game of thrones drinking each other's blood it's just a few drops but yes we do consume each other's blood on occasion for ritual purposes only <laughs> it is used for a reason and it is controlled where it's like let's shed a few drops of blood and each drink it he's much more haphazard and hectic and chaotic where he's willing to just like cut his chest open with broken glass and be like take my soul let me bleed on you <laughs> it doesn't not happen let me tell you maybe not exactly like that but it a version of that has happened uh, many times just like that one time that I said I drink blood ritualistically. And then everybody was like, wow, she's into satanic rituals. But that was a very misunderstood thing. Uh -huh. Let me try to explain it. Yeah, give us like some context. Everything is a matter of like what you're accustomed to mm -hmm. or what is currently like socially acceptable or normal back in like the 50s even how many times did you see like little boys would go out with like their little pop guns and they would cut their fingers and like be blood brothers right and they're like we're best friends forever now and they would like smush the blood together on their fingers uh-huh that's not satanic right that's normal and that's cute that's sweet that's like an innocent like little bond yeah it's a little bond between kids who love each other they have a pure friendship it's like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
except instead of rubbing your fingers together, the drop of blood goes in your mouth. And I don't know what, why that becomes satanic. I understand people are like, hey, that's weird, but guess what I think is weird? I think it's weird that girls are out here letting guys come in their mouth and they don't know these guys. Ma'am? <laughs> Um, the last part, like, ma'am, no, 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 girl, don't, uh, okay, but don't, don't flip it, don't flip it around back on to us talking about the, don't, don't, no, you are not gonna sit here and try to convince me, bitch, that that's normal. I'm sorry, I, I understand what she was using the example of the little boys, no, 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 and no, there is no reason you could give me that would be, I don't care how much I love somebody, there is no reason that I'm gonna be ingesting anybody's goddamn blood there is no reason no way and you know you can get sick doing that do you know you can get sick doing that people's bloods carry diseases and th you don't do that you just don't like uh, that's teaching people i feel like in my opinion to go around doing that not to say anybody is following life advice and relationship advice from megan fox not saying that but there are people out here who are stupid do you guys remember the um tide pod challenge people were doing that <laughs> like that was a real thing that wasn't just a meme there are gonna be people out there who are gonna be like oh my gosh so if megan fox was doing it with her lover then like we should try it like uh, <laughs> there are people out there who think like that and it's like it's i feel like it's a like a normalization of some sorts it's so strange it's so strange it's like let's not perpetuate these things to people a lot of people are simple-minded you can't just be saying this types of stuff this is the dark truth about machine gun kelly and megan fox so megan fox admitted that they drink each other's blood for rituals but yes we do consume each other's blood on occasion for ritual purposes or he's willing to just like cut his chest open with broken glass and be like take my soul maybe not exactly like that but a version of that has happened and many times so if you thought that was weird, Machine Gun Kelly said that he keeps a drop of her blood everywhere he goes in this necklace. You posted a picture of you had like a little a necklace on with uh, Megan's blood in it. Yeah, I mean, some people give like a handkerchief to their partner or whatever. She gave me her DNA. Now, believe it or not, some people don't think this is demonic at all. So if this wasn't demonic, why is there ghosts in this house now? Everyone that comes to my house and stays past 7 p.m., they're always like, yeah, there's definitely something in your kitchen. The bedroom door will just be like, <laughs> That was when I started being like, oh, this is disturbing. At first I was looking for a culprit that we later found out didn't exist. I don't know y'all, something about drinking blood and carrying a necklace that has somebody else's blood just doesn't seem right. Right, so it just doesn't seem right. You know how like, you, have you ever been in a situation where it's like, you don't know about something, like you're not educated on a topic, you don't know, but you walk into a space or you hear a thing or you see something and you know it's not right? like it's just an inkling it's like we're born with these types of things to where we can sense when something is not normal or right <laughs> you know what i'm saying and it's like you don't have to know anything about anything about what she's talking about to know that it's not right it's just like an intuition right and it's like please girl if you don't get this crap out of my goddamn face that would be wonderful what i've learned from being in this relationship is that it's not for public consumption so i think as of now, I don't have a comment on like the status of the relationship per se. What I can say is that is what I refer to as being my twin soul. Mm -hmm. And there will always be a tether to him no matter what. I, I can't say for sure what the capacity will be, but I will always be connected to him somehow. So that was a little update to, you know, their relationship. But it's alleged that, like, she basically was putting spells on MTK. And that's why he was so obsessed with her. Because they were doing weird stuff. You know what I'm saying? They were doing weird stuff. There's nothing normal about that relationship. I don't care what nobody say. But y'all let me know what you think about this whole thing down below. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.